In my latest video, I described how you can connect a laptop and a router with an Ethernet cable. The one troubling scenario we came across was when your laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port. In those situations, what are you supposed to do? Fear not, because in this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be detailing how you can still connect your laptop and your router with an Ethernet cable, even if the laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port. Okay, a perfect device we can use as an example here is my wife's Apple MacBook Air. What I have here in my hands is exactly what we need. This is called a USB to Ethernet adapter. It essentially just allows the laptop to use one of its USB ports to have an Ethernet connection. For those in the scenario that their laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port, I will put a link in the description down below to this one that I'm using here in this example in case you need to pick one up. All right, with our adapter in hand, let me show you how to make this connection between your laptop and your router. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna grab a USB port on the device. We'll use this one here, and we just wanna connect our adapter to it, so let's do that now. As you can see, the end of the adapter here just looks like a standard ethernet port. So all we need to do is we need to plug in one end of our ethernet cable into this port here. I'm sure you heard that satisfying click there to show that you have a good connection. The next thing we need to do is we need to connect the other end of the ethernet cable into your router. Here on the back of our router, we have four ethernet ports to choose from. As you might find on the back of your router, there's an additional one here. This one might be labeled either internet or WAN port. That ethernet port is reserved for the ethernet cable that connects your modem and your router. So what we wanna focus on is the four ethernet ports here. It will be labeled ethernet or LAN, most likely. So all we have to do is connect the other end of the ethernet cable into any of these ethernet ports. All right, there we go. Once both ends of your ethernet cable are connected, one end to this adapter here and the other end to your router, you'll see these link lights here start blinking. This confirms that you have a good connection between your laptop and your router using the ethernet cable. So one thing I should mention here about this USB to ethernet adapter is that in many cases it might not be plug and play. I actually had to go and install a driver on my laptop in order to get this adapter to work. Essentially what a driver is, is it's basically just software that allows you to use a hardware device. This adapter is an example, you often see this with printers or other hardware that you connect to your laptop you'll have to have drivers in order for them to work. So I'll walk you quickly through that process that I followed, just in case that's something you need to do. To be upfront here, I'm going to be showing you the steps on my Windows laptop, but these are the steps that I carried out on my Apple MacBook Air in order to install the driver for the USB to ethernet adapter. Okay, this device was from StarTech.com, so I first opened up an internet browser, I then typed in StarTech.com drivers because I needed to get to the drivers page. From there, I selected the first result, drivers and downloads on the support page, and it took me exactly where I needed to go once I typed in the particular ID for my adapter, which is USB 31.13S. So this is the adapter that I have. As you can see on this page, there are different drivers. There's a Linux driver, a Windows driver, and a Mac driver. I obviously installed this on a MacBook Air. So here I select Mac. It downloads a zip file. You open that up. From here, you just extract these files. Extract all. Inside this folder, here was a breakdown of all the versions of the operating systems. You just need to select the correct one for the device that you have. In my case, it was operating system 10.9 to 10.15. And from here, you just double click this file and it will run through the installation. 
once it's installed properly, anytime you connect that adapter to a USB port on that device, you'll be able to use an ethernet cable to connect that device to another device like your router. We all know that ethernet internet connections are far superior to Wi-Fi internet connections, so these steps are well worth it. If you have any questions about this procedure, please drop a comment below. If you found the video useful, give it a like. And also I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you find these tips and tricks interesting and helpful to you. I'll be continuing to put out more content moving forward, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.